the immigration issue is still not well known in Japan, even though it is a human rights violation and uh, also the international law violation. But uh, but we Japanese still do not really know about this issue, mm -hmm. and part of it, part of the reason is because there are discrimination against foreigners deep inside Japanese education and how we get raised, mm -hmm. and this. Is, this kind of uh, prejudice and discrimination prevent us to know more about uh, what what is the issue and what needs to be done. Why are there so many refugees in Japan? Of course there are many reasons for that. One of them is one of the most serious social, economic, political issues in Japan today is the declining population. Population is decreasing. Old people are not dying. Japanese women live longer than the women of any other country in the world. Japanese men don't quite live that long because they work too hard, they drink too much, and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, so the burden of supporting the elderly falls on the young people. So what can you do? You have to bring foreigners to do menial work, dirty work, so-called 3K jobs. Kiken, kitsui, kitanai, dangerous, strenuous, and uh, dirty, like construction work, demolition, and others. Okay, S but Japanese society, not just the government, do not want to accept these foreigners as Japanese. It's almost impossible for them to obtain permanent residency, to say nothing about citizenship. I mean, it's still very much a country where, um, you know, to be Japanese is a very mono-ethnic um, concept. Um, it's hard to consider people as being Japanese in a hyphenated way, like we're used to in the States, where you can be, you know, something something American. Um, that doesn't really exist as a sort of self-identifying measure in Japan today. We identify Japanese race as one single race. It is a myth. Practically, we need a <laughs> many people from other other world, you know. So Japanese people has to realize it's a diversity inclusion in the origin of Japan. So we have to open change of Japanese consciousness to welcome diversity inclusion. This is. Uh, I think uh, important for the future. Yes. やっぱり入管のそのやり方で一番辛いのはこう帰れない事情があるのに帰る帰ると一方的に言われてあのま帰りますということで電話を上げるまで精神的にも経済的にも追い詰めるやり方であの。入管は仮放免という制度を作り出してそれはあの仕事をしちゃいけないっていう法あのルールを作ったりあとは自分の住んでいる場所以外の県に移動するときには必ず入管から許可を取らないと他の県には行けないというようなえっと自由とかも奪
because you know, I had uh, many experiences with war time, and uh, I was a prisoner of war mm. for more than two years in Iraq. You know, and so uh, the first time it was ten months, you know, mm. detaining in immigration. So it was a breakfast for me. It was, it was nothing. But uh, the second time, three years. Uh, made me tired. Mm -hmm. I saw too many people, they, they, you know, they did the sweet suicide, uh, you know, every night crying, mm -hmm. uh, you know, too, too many problems, you know. Monday night, you guys, Monday night, Monday, I don't know, New York, mm -hmm. America, or Europe, I'm going to go to the Donald Gray, Monday, I'm going to go to the Donald I was like, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to my first day in Japan was very bad. I live in a um, in um, airport in Narita. I have my passport, I have my visa, I have everything. I show, I come there in immigration, I show my passport. They don't allow me to enter in Japan. They say, no, you can't enter. They bring me somewhere, they make me wait three hours, four hours, I'm still waiting, it was a night. And then they come, they come, they start asking me about my story, I explain everything. So they say, no, we are deporting you, you can't enter there in Japan now, we don't like uh, refugee here. So me, I say, I don't have nobody, I can't go back. I came to Japan like a visitor. Then I went to the immigration and seek asylum. So they changed my visa status from visit visa to a refugee visa. So I'm still under the process of getting a work permit so that I can start working. But as for now, I'm not working. I've been here seven months. From November to date, no, no job. You cannot get even a phone, you cannot get a house, you cannot get insurance, you cannot get short, just nothing. It comes to a point that you might not be having even what to, to eat for the day. So it's really, 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 really difficult for Because how long can you be in this situation? In my belief, and like that, you can never be a part of uh, community, especially in a country and a nation as it is so close, conservatives and isolated from the world. And that you, we are talking about Japan. I think there will just be very slow and gradual tweaks to the immigration law to meet the the exigencies the the labor exigencies of the moment yeah i don't see it going beyond that but i think so long as there is uh, economic and social demand and need for it then i think japan will um, make the necessary changes no matter how begrudgingly uh, just to try to stay afloat <laughs> たちだけが、俺だけが偉いというふうに思っていたら大間違い。昔の感覚でそれこそね、30年、40年前もっと前の感覚であの外国人に対して愚していたらもう日本は成り立たな。そういうふうにもう強く思いますね。いたいたいく
this is what's going to happen. We'll not have taken the chance to, you know, come around. I don't have so much hope that we're actually going to bring about the change that we say we want. But I, I can't sit by and do nothing. You know, when I went to Fukushima after the nuclear meltdown, and I went quite, I went quite near, um, and I was in in very difficult areas. Um, you know, why did I choose that? I actually thought I actually thought that with one more aftershock, the plants are going to tip over, and it, I mean, you know, there's going to be a major issue here, and you know, many people are going to die. And I thought. I'm, I'm okay to die, but I need to do something until until I die. So I will die doing something, at least preserving the truth, even if we can't stop it from happening. So what keeps me going is is my work, right? Is is the purpose that I feel in the work that I do.